Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another day on my channel. So today we're going to be doing a video on the top 5 tips to become better at PvP in Minecraft. And in this video, I will also be showcasing this new pack that I made. It's called the Inferno V216X pack. Basically, I made this pack two years or no, one year ago in the summer. Uh, I think in June or July in last year in 2017. And I released this for my 60k special and a lot of you guys seem to really, like, really love it back then. So that's why I decided to make a V2 off of it. I tried my best to like improve it where I was able to because the V2 2 to me is like an improved version of the v1 so like you make things like different better improve them for example i changed the particles in this pack it's kind of hard obviously with low res so yeah i try to go for 1000 likes to get the pack released also guys if you want to learn how to make your own custom texture pack there will be a link to my website down below using this website you can basically learn how to make your own custom pack just like me and yeah that being said let's get right into this video all right so we just got into a match against overon hello overon so that's pretty cool actually it's like two houses it kind of reminds me of like this really big youtuber he's made like those like building tutorials where he would like build like for example like a villa or like a like an insane mansion and like post it on youtube it like hundreds of thousands of subscribers like two three years ago i don't know his name i kind of forgot i think it was like a german youtuber i have no clue but yeah so in this video, we're going to be talking about the top five tips to become better at PvP. I don't know why this guy is taking a screen here. I mean, you know, I'm on an old account. I kind of always use this old account, so people might actually know it's me, but hey. I don't know, I like to use alt because, I don't know, it's like, there's less pressure on you when you just PvP and you get to chillax more, and yeah oh he said that's ice Spartan. yeah this guy is really laggy that's really unfortunate for him i might just take off my armor for him to be honest because he's really 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 laggy damn well the last guy just uh, randomly logged out i guess he just lagged out so we're gonna get into the first tip so you know you have like a place that when you play pop pvp or build duty or whatever game it is right so if you play bad words you like to rush if you play like uh, you build UT, you may also may like to rush people or like pre-gap and then, you know, just like go on people and like kill them. But in pot, there's also like a lot of certain different like play styles. You can play like save, you can let people like walk into your crosshair. Like right now what I'm doing is I'm letting him act to my movement. So basically what happens is he's moving and I just move my crosshair into like his movement. And you may think, well, why, like, that makes no sense what you're saying. Like, that's what aiming is about. Like, well, what you're, like, explaining right now is just aiming. But that's not actually, like, aiming. You have different types of, like, aiming. I can, like, go aggro on him and, like, try to, like, you know, mess up my aim. But what I'm going to do, oh, oops, I just potted, like, nine hearts. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, like, like, wait for him to move and then follow my crosshair to him. And I will, like, stay two blocks away from him so I can always just move my crosshair into him and this may sound really like confusing because it just sounds like I'm aiming but you want to wait for him to act and then move your crosshair into it and dream for 20 does this and you can basically get like really you know good aim and smooth aim with this and be really consistent because basically you act based on his movement so you will make less mistakes and if you don't aim on him you will basically lose aim and you will get uh, combo so i wanted to say knockback but yeah it's combo i mean i guess it's also like knockback but yeah so like the first tip right it's change your play styles you need to have more play styles than just one you need to have like for example like a play safe uh, play style like play aggro like aggro pro on him and like I don't know, or like for example, you know, let him walk into your crosshair and play it safe so you don't really miss hits and you pot conserve. Like, you can go like super aggro and like, like, t take like risky pot like this where you just turn around and pot really fast, or you take your time, walk backwards, pot, take another pot in your inventory, and you will basically give yourself more time because you run away and then open your inventory and refill. But you can also like go really aggro, pot, open inventory, take the pot, you know. You can play in whatever style you want, obviously, but that's just a tip from me. Have multiple play styles so you can like change it up if you feel like it doesn't really work versus the guy that you're playing against. And yeah, basically your play style will work against any of the people as long as you like kind of master it, you know? You need to have like four or three different play styles and just like practice them so you can implement them against people when you're fighting them. If you feel like it, you know, the main one or the one that you're using right now doesn't really work out. So right now we're gonna get it into tip two. Pour into other people their paths. So I'm gonna give you guys an example, right? I'm hitting this guy, I'm hitting him. Um, what happens is he gets to like five hearts and he wants to pot obviously because he's at five hearts. 
And what you want to do is see, he just turned around and potted it. What you want to do is you want to pearl into his paws. So when you think he's about to pot, and obviously you can never like know when he's going to pot. Maybe he's like chicken fighting you. Maybe he wants to like kill you, like risk him, you know, dying, I guess, um, to like kill you, which is basically like chicken fighting and stuff where you just like, oh, oops, I like try to pearl away, but he like stood in front of it. Kind of getting real, but this guy actually, what the hell? Really aggro. And you see like this guy is a really different place though compared to the, like, the other guy. He does not really like want to let me like breathe, I guess. For example, right now he is like I think one or two pots in his inventory, uh, in, in his hopper, I mean. And then, like he still goes aggro on me. And I can check right now. He had one paw in his hot bar. You know what I'm saying? So like he's like the type of guy that really goes aggro. You know what I'm saying? We're against him again. So yeah, as I was explaining, you basically when someone is about to like paw, you want to just pearl into their pots when he's about to pot. But that's really hard to, uh, I guess estimate why is this guy like come on me so bad it's as if he's like a block reach on me it's kind of weird you know like from first hit he's like hitting me from super far but i don't know so we're never gonna get into tip three because this one was quite simple it's just you know try to like pro into his pots if you can we have like i think nine pots yeah we do i know we have eight pots you see how he gets like the first hit from like such a huge range you know what i'm saying like like this like i don't know how how that is possible because I literally cannot do anything like that on the server. At least I don't think so, but yeah, doesn't matter. So my tip number three is keep your inventory organized. This is really, really important. And you kind of want to like master your inventory. So if you refill, you always want to refill in one way. And I do not really have this right now because I don't really like play as much. And you only get this by playing a lot. So I kind of do have like a rhythm when I refill my inventory, but it's nothing like super... I guess consistent right now because I don't really like play that much so yeah basically what you want to do is you want to always like refill from one side to the other side or for example from like the bottom to the top or the top from to the bottom wait while well, we're still on fire this is uh, really weird you guys can see I, I literally did not hit him yet I'm still on fire <laughs> I guess it like kind of have to reset so yeah right now you can see I just potted one pot and I to take the pot there and I don't know like it makes it really helpful because at the end of the fight you will know if you like refill from like this side to that side you will know that there's pots on the right side and when you're like aggro fighting you need to know where your pots are located and if you like open your inventory and just do like a, take a random pot you won't know where your pots are like you have to search for them in your inventory it's like you play osu you know like you have to hit all those like things that's basically what you're gonna do in your inventory so what i just did right now is that but like, it sounds stupid, but I'm at the point where it doesn't really matter for me. I like, it doesn't matter how I sort my inventory, I can do it fast anyway. I don't know why, but I guess it's me playing in like 3k hours of Minecraft or like 2k, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I don't know, like for me, it doesn't really matter that as much anymore. But at first it was really helpful when I played a lot of ranked on Koei. I actually used to play so much ranked on Koei, it's kind of insane. Or unranked as well. Like per season I had like 2k um, matches in unranked and ranked together and stuff. So yeah, and one season lasted like, I don't know. I think one season like lasted like two months or three months. I have no clue, but 2k matches is quite a lot. So right now you can see my inventory is like sorted to the point where everything is like in one spot, like right here. And I'm gonna take two pots and I will know it's like right there, right? So yeah, it's like literally that simple, but it's really important because you can like instantly know where your pots are. As you can see, I just opened my inventory, took the pot, bam. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, this will help you become more consistent and to become good at pot PP, you need to be super consistent. If I was not consistent, I would have died there because you know, I didn't pot. I don't know why, but it's like literally like 2 a.m. or 1 a.m. And I'm on ear now and people are like sweating like that ass. So then we have tip number four. Get settings you're comfortable with. So you want to get settings, DPI, like what is it called? Sh uh, shortcuts? No, no. What am I saying? Shortcuts, hotkeys, I mean. To your inventory. So for example, slot nine, slot eight, slot seven. You want to get key bindings that you really like playing with or i mean not playing with like to play with but i guess you find it easy to play with like comfortable so i have number nine slot nine on let me think g and then i have slot eight on f because i cannot really reach those with my fingers on my keyboard and then one to seven is like default so i don't know for me it's you know fine like that but some people also have it like on x c v or whatever and uh, my chat is on c so that's why i opened the chat just now but <laughs> yeah i don't know why it's on c i played minecraft since it doesn't 12 or 
11. And basically back then I made it C for some reason and I never changed it ever since. So I actually used to play with like arrow keys back in the day. Like I had an Apple keyboard and yeah, I don't know. I just always like play with arrow keys and it was really hard to get used to WASD for some reason. I mean, it kind of makes sense. You're used to like one thing, right? And yeah, but guys do not copy someone's settings and just think you're like going to be good with it. Find your own settings and you're like, because everyone has a different like keyboard. Everyone has different like distances on the keyboard. Everyone has different fingers, like how long they are. And it really matters in terms of like you being comfortable with your own hotkeys. So just try to like find your own hotkeys, uh, your own DPI and sensitivity and stuff and just practice with it and just adjust it over time as well so if you think it's like too fast or too slow just change it like if you think it like makes you worse or kind of holds you back i guess for example if it's too slow you know then just like try to like higher it by a little bit every single time and you will not like see the difference but it will still help you you know what i'm saying so yeah and then we have the last tip which is pot management slash pot reserving right now i'm not really like uh, trying that hard on that because it's like it's whatever you know what i'm saying because we're fighting like unranked so it's like we're just chilling if someone beats me i don't really care you know if i beat someone it's fine um we're we're just chilling you know but this guy has to respeed. oh well i didn't you can you can respeed dude uh, you can respeed do i have to respeed no i do not we have five pots versus him but yeah as i mentioned tip five pot management slash pot reserving it's quite simple you want to pot when you're at either two hearts or five hearts i think like this is the funny part i don't even know how much one pot heals you for i just know it from like playing um but i'm pretty sure it's four hearts per pot i put it two hearts double splash and then at five hearts i splash once um i don't know it's just like it's pretty simple like that and i just do always do that but when i'm against really good people i just like splash at four hearts and for example i could have double splash but right now i already regenerated half a heart there and if i double splash i would not have regenerated any of those hearts you know what i'm saying or how far in this case we just got hit out of pause that's kind of unfortunate we're against onyx reminds me of pokemon man probably like why his name is onyx actually but it might also be like a brand or something else you know but yeah um that's pretty much it's 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 pretty simple you know what i'm saying like you always want to like stay uh regenerating your hearts um so never like pot to full health as i just did right there I double splash but that's because it's like kind of an aggro fight and it's like unranked so it's fine you know what i'm saying but if i'm against like really good people i also like try my hardest to like pot conserve you know so my tip is with pot conserving just like try to see what what's best in your current situation you know if you're for example gonna like i don't know respeed it takes like 15 seconds right and you want to be regenerating throughout this time obviously because if you for example pot to full heart in that time frame you will not be regenerating any health for 15 seconds and if the opponent is not full health he will be regenerating for 50 seconds while you're not you know what i'm saying so that's like two two and a half hearts or like two hearts you know so that obviously matters but yeah, those are just like very small things that will make you better and yeah. It's kind of simple potting, but you just need to like get good at it, I guess. I don't know why the fire is still on, man. It's kind of weird. It's because, I don't know, like the server doesn't reset it. The fire um, fire layer, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, that's as simple as it is. Just like try to always like stay regenerating or keep regenerating your heart. Try to not get hit off your pot so you, you know, maximize your health. And yeah, that's basically my top five tips. So... To sum it up, change up your playstyle, pro into someone's pots when you can obviously, keep your inventory organized and consistent, get settings you're comfortable with, and pot management slash pot conserving. So yeah, that was it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash a like. Make sure to check out my pack course in the description if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, that was a bit for this video. So guys, 